So this is your helpful hint video for your FRQs this week um, that are due next week, Monday on the 4th. Um, the second one, number six, is all pretty straightforward stuff. I would say just go ahead and try it. Use your notes. If you get stuck, you know, look up a how-to video on these YouTube on it, um, and they'll just work it out for you. But for the most part, it's pretty straightforward stuff, the exact kind of stuff that we've covered in class. But this one here, the first one here, number or FRQ 4, A and B, that was a little bit tricky. So let's, let's talk about it. Um, now, technically, number one, or number, letter A, I should say, um, we've done that before as well. But it's been a little bit of time. Um, first of all, this is an implicit function. So I want to remind you guys of that. So, for instance, we, we want to show that the derivative of this thing is that. So we sh we're basically just going to take the derivative and prove that it's this. Um, don't forget that when you take the derivative of an implicit function, with respect to x, right? That's what we're doing. That's the bottom variable there. Um, when, they, when they match, it's just a regular derivative. But when they don't match, the bottom doesn't match this. Then we take the derivative like normal, but we multiply it by a y prime. right? So don't forget that little rule. Um, another thing I want you guys to be aware of is that, well, of course, this is 0. That's easy. But over here, this is actually a product rule. Okay. So if I call 3x a and I call y b, then this is going to be, remember the product rule goes like this, a prime b, a b prime. And I'll let you guys fill in the blank. But don't forget, when you take the derivative of this one, you're going to get a y prime. OK? When you take the derivative of this one, you're just going to get 3. OK, so there's that. Um, and also, you probably don't want to forget that um, when you're doing these, you get all the y primes on one side, factor it out, and then divide. But um, I'll leave the rest up to you there on part A. As for part B, that one, that's a really strange question. Um, don't see questions that are, you know, I can't really, we can't really predict when they're going to ask these kinds of questions. Just kind of random weird questions that they could ask. They happen. But uh, let's see what we can do with it. It says, show that there is a point P with an x coordinate of 3 at which the tangent line is horizontal. Now that's significant because when a tangent line, you guys got to remember a tangent line, the slope of a tangent line, I should say, is basically the value of the derivative of your function at that point. The slope of the tangent line is the derivative of your function at that point. And I guess maybe since we're using a different notation this time, instead of putting a prime, I'll put this. So the slope of my tangent line is the derivative of my function. But notice they say that it's horizontal. Now, when you're talking about a horizontal tangent line, what's the slope? It's zero. Right? And so basically, they want to know um, what is the point where the slope is zero. And they're telling you that x is 3. Well, here's my derivative. You just set it equal to 0, and you solve. But before you do, they're telling you the x, so just plug in the x. So basically, you'll just need to solve for y. Okay? Um, and that's honestly where I probably would have stopped myself. I probably would have set this equal to 0, plugged in the 3 for the x, and solved for y, and I would have been done. But that, that we're actually not done there. That, that actually tells you what the y value is, so you can that'll answer this question. But they want us to show that that point is actually on this curve as well. So after you find your y value, you're going to plug in the x equals 3 number you get and whatever you got for y and prove that it works for this original equation as well. That proves that not only does it make this slope equal 0, but it also exists on this function. So that's kind of a weird question, but there you go. <clears throat>